According to the Florida Springs Institute, the Santa Fe River in North Central Florida is home to over 30 named springs and provides unique and essential habitat for a wide variety of plants and animals. Among them is Gilchrist Blue Springs State Park in the town of High Springs, a popular launch spot for canoe and kayak adventures up and down the river and a prime piece of real estate for swimming, hiking, and camping. In the past, we've had some meaningful family gatherings here. And as we came together to celebrate Dad's 70th birthday this month, the milestone proved no exception. Because of everything going on lately, the last minute getaway was planned somewhat spontaneously and landed us in an Airbnb down a long dirt road in Alachua, about 30 minutes from the springs. A rustic retreat on 30 acres that included a small fishing pond, inviting nature trails, and spectacular views of the sunset. Since late February can be hit or miss when it comes to good weather for outdoor activities, Moving forward with our plan was a bit of a gamble, but the upside of planning a trip to the springs during off-season is the potential for a thinner crowd, which thankfully was exactly what we got. A cool, cloudy morning morphed into a mild afternoon in the low 80s as a late winter sun kissed the earth for Dad's special day. No matter how many times I go, the pristine water of Gilchrist Blue Springs never ceases to amaze me. The large, second magnitude spring produces an average of 44 million gallons of water per day and remains a constant 72 degrees year-round. The deep, layered blue and turquoise colors of the spring are a stark contrast to the tannic water of the Santa Fe, but both experiences hold their own unique charm. We rented a few kayaks and canoes, paddling upstream for scenic views of tall live oaks, native azaleas, freshwater turtles, cypress trees, and the simple enjoyment of a slow, open-air adventure along the river. Some of us may have been slower than others, but that's beside the point, right? Back at the farm, we gathered for long walks and big family dinners. We caught lizards and we caught fish. We watched golden light cast an early glow over a secluded country lane with lush foliage and bright pink azaleas already in full bloom. We watched the kids play hide-and-seek through the darkness of a warm February night. We took pictures and paused to embrace the gift of these moments in time. We celebrated the beauty of being together during a season where so many hard things have happened to us and around us. A season where we didn't really know if this trip would be possible. But it was. And for that, I am extremely grateful. So here's to the last minute and the spontaneous. Here's to throwing out suggestions and scrambling to make arrangements even when it seems like they might not come together. And most of all, here's to praying for a few days of sunshine and family memories that will last a lifetime.